against the qualifier, her teammate Hina Akishi. Well, that's the women's singles draw. And the top two seeds falling earlier in the week with only the third seed Miyazaki getting through the semi-finals. Two qualifiers there in the semi-finals as well. This one's quite hard to predict, wide open. And we'll take a look at the uh, what's ahead to explain why in a few moments' time. But first, this is the race to the HSBC World Tour Finals with, well, look at that, Nozomi Okuhara. Last from the past to see her top of her rankings list leading the way at the moment. Helped by making the final at the Indonesian Masters recently, An Se Young, Tai Su Ying, Chen Yu Fei all in the hunt. No doubt Yamaguchi and Marin will be up there soon. They meet in an All England final today. But we're going to focus here on the All Leon Masters final. Combined age between these two of 35. That is some statistic. Tremendous to see these two teenagers making a Super 300 uh, final on the World Tour. There's that head-to-head, -head. it's 2-0. Straight games win in the Sublinia final. And a couple of years ago, their first meeting at the under 19 Malaysian Juniors semi-final 2022. Well, she was ranked number one as a junior player, Tomoka Miyazaki. She won it a year young. She lost in the final last year in Spokane. That's the top seed, 70 years of age from Osaka. Senior ranking of 36. That's her uh, career high in the ranking. She's been there for about a month now. 12 tournaments she's played in as a senior, six finals and four of those she's taken the title. She hasn't spent an awful lot of time on court this week. Just 83 minutes, if you add all that up. Chen Lu had to retire before the first game interval yesterday. An awful landing on her left knee. Otherwise, she's come through comfortably. She's just turned 19. She's also from Osaka in Japan. And she spent two weeks, about six months ago, inside the top 90 in the world. Currently placed at 120. And look at the comparison of court time this week. Four hours and 40 minutes including two qualifying rounds.
So Miyazaki in the white gets us underway at the top of your screen. Just off balance, Akishi. Great retrieval skills from Miyazaki. Just enough quality to force Akishi that little bit closer to the net. Well, the big high lift. Good work from Miyazaki. She cocks that forehand so nicely. Slightly unusual technique overhead, but it's deceptive. Too good from Akishi. Two oh. Miyazaki gave her too much time on the shuttle. Three. Well, short rallies so far. Both players feeling out their opponents. What shots are going to get through? Good punch clear from Miyazaki.
five, and four. Indecision on the back line. Six, five. Badminton suicide from Miyazaki. Watch this. What a save. Six over. Six over. Two, she didn't really connect with Miyazaki. <laughs> Tremendous retrieval skills. Brilliant rally. And it's still going. Oh, off the net as well. Here she finds a net spin. Absolutely brilliant. Is over. Miyazaki Seven, floored at the net. Six. Twice. Does well to get up and even try to get to that next shot. Players on court. Play. Hey. Over. It's a dangerous looking shot. Seven. Oh. Good save again. She looks down and out every time. And she still scrapes it off the floor. Brilliant. Reverse slice from that forehand corner. Eight, seven. Speed. Nine, seven.
just long for Miyazaki. Service over. Eight, nine. Excellent. Service over. Ten, eight. She's got everything going for her, Tomoka Miyazaki. Great in defence. She's fast. She might not be the most powerful, but she's got excellent shots from all four corners. Save. Akishi staying in balance, in control, but she's just not as quick as Miyazaki. Three points the lead, 11 8 at the break. The 17 year old with an early advantage. Well, let's hope she's not hurt. Yeah, she's fine. Big smile. I think she just got her footwork wrong. Over. Nine, 11. Thank you. <laughs> well, her foot just didn't want to move. Must be something to do with those differently colored shoelaces. Just long, no challenge. Great touch. That's another long rally. What a shot from Miyazaki. Both corners, forehand and round the head. Over. She can hit those deceptive slices. Akichi nowhere near it. It's sad. He's found another winner. There's a challenge from Akichi.
Will Hawkeye come to the rescue of Hina Akishi? Not this time. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Well, Akichi so kept hold of the shuttle. She was convinced play. she was going to be successful with that challenge. Oh, almost doing the splits. Brilliant. Well played, Akichi. Service over. Look at that. Akichi staying composed, controlled. A lovely shot. That is a brilliant rally from Tomoka. Every shot she played was top class. That hold and then inch perfect, flat lift, cross court. That makes the slice winner look so easy as well. Starting to run away from Heine Ikichi. And Miyazaki gaining in confidence. No opponent wants to see that. In truth, we didn't see that yesterday. Chen Lu was in control of the match. Her semi final opponent, 17 year old Miyazaki. Wasn't yet comfortable in the match. She was down 10-5. Hey. Who knows what might have happened if Chen had managed to get through. Great touch, Akichi. Service over. 12, this net shot, inch perfect. Too good. Well, that's not the body language you want to be looking at when you turn to your coaching corner. Just wide, a challenge. Oh, 
Oh, it's got the line. Wow. Correction, please. 1912. Play. Oh, it's a nice shot from Miyazaki. I like the way Miyazaki's every shot has so much intent, even in defense. Hey. Nice player from Akichi. Again, the intent was there from Miyazaki with this shot, but the quality, the control wasn't too flat or too short. She's missed. No challenge this time. 17, 19. She can see the finish line. She's desperately trying to get over it. It's tensing up a bit too much adrenaline. the court again. Umpire says she can't have a break either. 18, 19. It's easy to say that she could just relax. Good net shot. Some confidence back and putting an end to those six unanswered points of Hina Akichi. She's got two game points now. She's missed. Akichi's gone wide. No challenge. And I tell you what, there'll be a little relief felt by Tomoka Miyazaki right now. 21 18, the opening game.
20 seconds. Ida, on court. Second game. Low ball. Play. Miyazaki's on serve, getting game two underway with this change of ends. Service over. One clock. Showing her own experience there, that's twice. Just got to leave that. Or hit it initially. Either way, you don't learn anything from taking the shuttle that late. Miyazaki. Continuing to dictate the rally, this little double action had Akichi going the wrong way. When she can put all of these shots together without the mistakes, Miyazaki really will be the star for the future. to the aid of the Kichi. Well left. Over. Another hard fought rally. I think she's missed again. Five and four. She was tempted to challenge, started to raise a finger to the umpire. Five and 
Oh, just wide, well left. Well, alternate points so far in this second game. Seven, five. Challenge from Akichi. Line judge said that Miyazaki found the corner. Yeah, great call by the line judge. There's been a few rallies that have been long and played with freedom. It's too many for me. Both players nervous, you can tell. Anxious, too much adrenaline. Well played. Okichi dragging Miyazaki out of position. Cross blocks, beautiful from Akichi. Miyazaki needing every ounce of speed. She's found the line, I think. <laughs> oh, well, the line judge says it was out. But there's a challenge here from Akichi. And this is crucial. One game down. She loses this challenge. She'll be four points behind in the second. She might. Oh, well, a lot wider challenges that Hawkeye replay than it looked. No challenges remaining. At first glance. Service over. So Ten we're Kichi now, four six. points behind, no challenges remaining. Well, she looked up, she missed time the shuttle. Service over. Seven,
Superb retrieval skills, great defence from Miyazaki. Holds on to that four-point lead into the mid-game interval now. 11-7. Well, the odds now firmly in Miyazaki's favour. She's not even playing her best. Retrieving, definitely. Defence has been great. She's missed the court so many times, and yet, still, ahead in this match. There you go. Good example. There haven't been many times where Hina Akichi has out-rallied Miyazaki. Miyazaki can just keep control, find the court. This match will be comfortably in her grasp. Oh, one of the best shots we've seen today. Superb from Miyazaki. Well, she goes from wild misses to hitting two lines in a row. 13, eight. Tremendous confidence. Patient this time in defense, Miyazaki, not trying too much. And without needing to try, she wins those types of rallies. I mean that with the greatest respect. She's quite simply a better player in almost every aspect of the game than Akichi except perhaps mentally sometimes. Brilliant from Akichi. Pinning Miyazaki into that forehand rear corner. Maybe she heard my uh, commentary and took some umbrage to what I just said.
Well, it's Wild Miss, followed by Winner, followed by Wild Miss. 17-year-old in a Super 300 final, let's not forget. We can forgive her a few nerves of the occasion. Get ready, come on. Sending Akichi the wrong way with that cross smash. Good length on the lift as well. Akichi gambled on the straight. Oh, it's a brilliant shot. She had to track all the way round the shuttle to get her body in position. The last thing you expect is something so deceptive. And you haven't got a lot of time. Fighting hard in defence, though, Miyazaki. Really impressive. How quick she is to get to some of those smashes. A huge lead of seven points now. 17 year old, just two points away from a Super 300 title. And she's almost there. She was runner-up at the Korean Masters last year. Match point 12. Kim Gae-un beat her in three. But this, eight chances for the championship. Terrific net shot. It's gone long. We have a 17-year-old champion in Orleans. 
Superb performance today from Tomoka Miyazaki. So much potential. <laughs> I think that smile painted on the face now. Days and days to come. The winning point. And relief, I think, as much as delight for Miyazaki. Some amazing points and also some erratic play. Luckily, her defense was top draw today. And Akichi really had no answer. Straight games. 21-18, 21-12. Miyazaki, the Orleans Masters champion of 2024. Bien fort les deux finalistes du simple dame. Well, some highlights de there from that women's singles final as Plumy leads the way out. The French mascot, our finalists, making their way into their podium places. Et pour uh, remettre les trophées, Monsieur Sylvain Benaïm, vice-président de la Fédération française de badminton en charge de la performance sociale, vice president of the French Federation of Badminton in charge of inclusion. Monsieur Johan Penel, président de la Fédération française de badminton, le président de la French Fédération de badminton. Finaliste de ce simple dame, runner-up in this women's singles, Ina Akeshi. Well, Ina Akeshi. Japan. It's been a solid week for her. Did well to get to the final. The president of the French Badminton Association presenting. Et vainqueur dans ce tableau du simple dame de l'Orléans Masters 2024. Winner of this 20 singles in Orléans, Tomoka Miyazaki. Japan. And our champion for 2024. 
the teenager Tomoka Miyazaki. Your 2024 Olympic Masters Women Singles Champion, Tomoka Miyazaki. The biggest title she's won so far. <laughs> She'll have to get used to this. There's plenty more to come where she's going. Les photos avec les, les deux finalistes. Then you can go. Voilà les, les deux japonaises finalistes. Well, Japanese teammates. Du simple dame ici en, en 2015. Well, coming up in a few moments is the men's singles final. Another all-Japanese affair, both unseeded. Ku Takahashi and Yushi Tanaka in a few moments' time. Well, it's finals day here at the Orleon Masters 2024. 17 year old Tomoka Miyazaki just clinched the women's singles title. Tremendous for her. Another all Japanese affair in our next final. The men's singles, Ku Takahashi and Yushi Tanaka, coming up in just a couple of moments' time. Well, we can take a quick look. The men's singles draw.